six lizard noses, two pinches of tarantula hair, a spoonful of moldy peanut butter. Oh, oh, <laughs> hello. I'm Mrs. Cauldron, your friendly neighborhood old lady, who might be a witch. Never more! Quiet. I have a story to tell. So, here it is, and I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> It happened one day as I was flying home on my brand new Class 13 vacuum cleaner with full options, including parking sensors. <laughs> oh, this would be great. This is the bungee cord John used the one time he went bungee jumping. Not a successful activity. Bodie, wake up. You want to fetch the stick? Then go fetch the stick. I like Garfield, but there are times when he just goes too far. Hello, Odie. Now, you know why Garfield can do things like that to you, don't you? Because you're not that smart. And if you were that smart, you know that's the reason. Would you like to be smarter? A lot smarter? <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure you'll like it, but here goes. <laughs> Odie always had a good heart, but suddenly he had a good brain to go with it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Huh. I wonder why the bungee cord causes someone to bounce around like that. Actually, it's all due to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Odie. Don't mention it. <sighs> Newton's third law of motion. I should have known. Odie, you said something. Not only that, but it was something, you know, like intelligent. Ah, well, maybe I just never had anything to say before. Oh. It was also a new experience for Odie, being able to do things he'd never done before. There you go. I changed the filter, tightened all the belts, and updated the software on your global positioning system. Well, thank you, Odie. I do hope you enjoy being intelligent. Of course. I can read and write and solve problems and fix things. Well, I just hope you keep feeling that way. Uh, one last thing, Odie. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I'm smart now. I'm not dumb enough to let that happen. Good. See you around. Thanks again. Uh, for a while, at least. I guess it was a good thing. Oh, I don't have time to play, Odie. I have to get my taxes done, and it's just impossible. Oh, I need some coffee. I'm going to be up all night. Let's see, form 20, 30, itemized deduction. What's he talking about? This is a breeze. He never said anything before. I've kicked him off the table 7,000 times. He never said a word except yip up. I'm going to be up all night doing my taxes, Garfield. <gasps> Bodie, what are you doing in my chair? <sighs> you did my taxes? Yes, and I got you a refund. He looks perfectly normal to me, John, um, except that he's suddenly become a genius. Huh? I gave him an intelligence Ooh. test, and, well, let's just say he's twice as smart as we are. Twice as smart as either of us? No, twice as smart as you and I put together. If you'll excuse me, I have a sick pussycat that needs attention. What? Ah! 
It appears you've been eating too much mixed grill. Try switching to a low-sodium salmon mm. cap food. John couldn't believe how smart his dog was. He shot videos of Odie and put them on the internet. Ooh. Before long, Odie was famous. The smartest dog in the world. That's what they're calling him since his online videos have had 50 million hits. My Odie? On Monday, he became the world champion of chess. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it. I just got checkmate by a dog. <laughs> on Tuesday, he went on a game show. Odie, for a small fortune, when they built the Great Wall of China, who was the foreman? You've written Chin Lu Hao. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. You win the small fortune. Odie promptly donated the entire small fortune to a worthy charity. I thought he was supposed to be smart. And perhaps most impressive, he figured out how to set up one of those beach chairs no one can ever figure out. for 22 years to understand how to open that chair. In just a few short days, everyone around the world has become excited about Odie. This is your gossip reporter, Brandon Scoop, signing off. <sighs> You're just jealous because Odie's getting all this fame and attention. Oh, great. Now I have a smart mouse, too. And someone inside the world wasn't too happy, either. He was Emperor Glorm, ruler of the kingdom at the center of the earth. I've been trying for 22 years to understand Emperor how to open Glorm, that chair. Emperor Glorm, do you think that dog is really as smart as they say? Hmm. Smarter! And that worries me, my loyal sloth people. That canine is smart enough to lead the surface people to conquer us! <laughs> Of course, if we captured him, he could tell us how to conquer the surface people. I'm sorry, my dog can't help you. Everybody wants Odie to solve their problems. Odie, do you think you can solve mine? I'll try. What is it? I have a lousy part in this episode. <laughs> I think I can solve your problem and my own by getting out of this house. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Huh? So, Odie made a hasty exit, leaving Garfield to deal with the mobs of people outside. I know how to handle this. Please, people, I'm telling you, my dog can't solve all your problems. No, but your cat can. Yes, it's me, Garfield Cat. I'm here to share my colossal brain with you all. Ask me anything. I want to talk to the dog. I want to talk to the dog. Yeah, I'm going to bed until this episode is over. Meanwhile, Odie was trying to figure out the one thing he didn't know. Why being so smart was more trouble than being stupid. Hey, Odie, can you tell me how to run my comic book shop so I can make more money? Hey, Odie, can you tell me a good way I can catch a dog? Like, say, you? Hey, Odie, will you do my homework for me? Everywhere he went, somebody wanted something. But finally, he was alone. <sighs> or so he thought. Let me go! Unhand me! So... This is the smartest dog in the world. <laughs> well, smart dog, I trust you are smart enough to know that your survival depends on you helping me to conquer the surface world. Why me? What do you want with me? You have knowledge. Knowledge is power. And I want power. Tell me, dog, how did you get to be so smart? Odie tried to think, but all he could think about was how life was so much easier before he got to be so smart. And then he remembered something he'd heard. 
You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I said, how did you get to be so smart? Well, a little old witch named Mrs. Cauldron cast a spell on me. This? Yeah. This is the smartest creature on this planet? Use the cerebral gauge. Measure his brain power. No discernible intelligence. We might as well return to our world below. That's really all there is to the story, I guess. Hey, Odie, can you answer a question for me? He went home dumb but happy. And he stayed that way. <laughs> so, here it is. And I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> and best of all, I got my show back. Sure, boy.